a YouTube and home gardener. Um, here in Connecticut, I must say in Hartford, Connecticut, the earth is like so blessed. Um, things just grow in here. You have to amend the soil a little bit, but after you do, um, just forget it. It's just crazy. So I planted grapes um, that I purchased, so they're called cultivars. So I planted grapes uh, two years ago, right? So the first year I had grapes, but the birds ate like half of them, right? But guess what the birds did? The birds scattered grape seeds all over the yard. So now I have more grapes. That's a grapevine. That's two grapevine right there. It's growing all the way up the tree, which I'm gonna uh, start controlling. Um, it's just amazing. So all along here is grapes. Now they haven't been kept. So, um, you know, they have like aphids on them. But what I'm gonna do is actually, um, I'm actually gonna like make trellis. Now look at all this, all this is grape. All that is grapes, grapes, all the way in the back, all over this man's fence, it's grapevines. And this is what the birds did. Like I said, it's a love-hate relationship I have with my wild birds here. So they're really helping a brother out. Now I have more grapevine than I can possibly, possibly frown on because I juice, you know? So that's all the way in the back, all the way in the back there. Grapes, 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 grapes. So I'm just like really, really, really psyched. And another thing, there's so many like wild um, edible plants that grow here by themselves that I'm so amazed because I discovered, you know, some of them, you know, like uh, forest lane. That's porcelain and it's growing so uh, so wild over the yard. It's everywhere. And this got like omega-3 in it, you know. So I'm gonna actually cultivate it. If God's so willing, I'm gonna cultivate it. And next year, all of this lot right here is gonna be porcelain. I mean, they're just growing wild all over the yard, you know, um, in the front. And the thing is that they thrive in poor soil and semi-shade. So they always be growing along uh, my trees um, that I planted. And now I'm not gonna like take them up. I'm just gonna let them grow and cultivate them, you know? So like, look at all that. Poor slain, baby, poor slain. Now I have some um, grass in there. These are some yellow, uh, Canada grass, potent. Um, I mean, they're really strong grass, but um, it's just that porcelain is going wild. So, and they load it with omega 3, you know? That's my can to make. Uh, it's pretty good, but it's not right good. That's my hand, and that's it's a full size cantaloupe, but it's not right good. Cucumber is doing great. It's my first year. I don't have a lot of mildew on it. Um, I keep them like really, really nice. And it's growing pretty good. I got six or eight off it so far. And now I got another eight or ten on it right now. So it's, it's growing pretty good. Melons in the front, they're doing good. But the one in the back, oh my goodness. So I can't, I can't, I'm gonna start cultivating, start growing the porcelain and the other edible um, greens that grow by themselves here. You know, it's just, it's just fantastic. It is fantastic. Yeah, so these were the original grapevines that I planted two years ago in 2015. One, two, three, four, which are too close and I'm gonna move three of them and plant them over here because I really like juice and the leaves more than I like actually the grape. But look at this baby. Look at the size of this mama. She is huge. She is huge. Huh? That's my hand. 
huge. I have um, and now the cantaloupes. No, you can't see them, but they're like really getting big right now. Not as big as the one in the front though, but it's just crazy how much stuff grows back here, you know? I'm just so, so amazed. You know? Um, this is my beet and my cabbage. So I'm juicing, of course, because I want to be a juicy terrier. And it's quite easy now. It was harder before, and now it's quite easy. Yeah, but it's just amazing how things grow here. Now, I must confess, I do amend the soil. I do have uh, some unique organic fertilizer, um, which really, they, they're not, it's not that they love it. They adore and worship this fertilizer. And I feel good knowing that they really, really like the fertilizer and it's really, really good for them and it is 100% organic. I feel so good. What I've discovered in regarding the blueberries, because this is an alkaline soil and they need acid soil. So I've been amending it with um, apple cider vinegar. So I've been using apple cider vinegar on them. Now this one over here, I'm not sure if you can see that one. That's about uh, the length of three feet. When it started off in February, it was like six inches. So that's how much it grew. It was like six inches. So all of them is growing pretty well with uh, my amendment. And it works better than the blueberry and hasberry fertilizer, organic fertilizer that you purchase um, from the store. It's actually working better. So, you know, I'm happy about that. So now I know even how to grow, grow blueberries in an alkaline soil, you know, so that's going. But the grapes, I can't get over it. What I'm gonna do with so much grapes, look at that. All those greens right there are grape, grapevine. The birds did a fantastic job. So, you know, I, I, I started feeding them again, but that wasn't the reason why I just kind of got soft hearted. So my bird died. Well, he got killed. God bless his soul. I left him outside and one of the cats got in his cage. Killed the first one a couple months ago and then killed the second one. Either that or he escaped when they try to get at him. But what I'm doing now, you know, I'm having this, this the bird feed. This is really my, my bird feed, but since my bird is not here anymore, you know, putting a little bit down there for all these wild birds because they're really helping me out. Look how much grape they gave me. Look at all that. All that grape vine that of course I'm going to cut, um, trim. I'm going to definitely, uh, um, you know, get some, some trellises for them. But I'm going to grow them all along that fence and this man's fence right here. This family's fence right I'm going to grow them all along right there that's, that's great that's great i mean it is fantastic I, i'm just i'm i'm flabbergasted I, i'm 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 well pleased well surprised and well pleased that there's so many wild um edible things on this lawn you know and the porcelain like i said it has the um omega-3 fatty acid it's one of the, the rare plants that actually has omega-3 fatty acid. Mainly, you know, mostly people get the omega-3 from um, sa sa salmon, salmon. I call salmon, salmon, that's my name <laughs> for salmon. But, you know, it's like one of the rare plants that has it. So it has, the, that and flax seeds are the two um, nature plants that has the omega-3 fatty acid. And it's all over this place. And all I gotta do is cultivate them, protect them everywhere they're at, and not pull up the root, but just cut them down. And it's a, and what happened? The 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 the, the, the uh, copycat um, porcelain, which is poisonous, that has diminished. I don't even see it anymore as much as it was growing before. Because once I was gonna. Um, eat the porcelain and some something tell me to go check and research and the one I picked was a poisonous one but now it's like hardly 
It's like hardly around anymore. This one right here, this is porcelain. That's not a poison one. So these are poison ivy or some poison some crap. So I'll take these out and cultivate that one, of course. But the poison one, I mean, they're rare now. I hardly even see them now. Because I've been just protecting the, the, the good one. So they've just been dying off a lot. Like they're like hardly around now, which is good, which is good. Yeah, that's that Canada grass seed. It goes everywhere. That's a strong grass seed. So I'm going to use it to my benefit and turn my own my whole lawn like filled with thick grass by not really repurchasing any grass seed, but taking these, run over them a couple times with the mower and just let the seed, seed scatter because that's how potent they are. This is them right here. All I did, this plate, this spot was bald because I had a, a, a I had a, I think I had a little plastic over here. So all I did was pick the plastic up and I threw some of my grass cutting down and look what happened. That's how much grass grew. That's how potent this Canada grass is. And all of them have seeds. So when I cut this, these gonna scatter some more and have more grass. So I'm not gonna, you know, need to repurchase any grass seed on that. Yeah, but it's just, it is, it is really amazing to me, you know? It's really amazing, the birds did it. I gotta apologize to these guys, man. <laughs> I love ya. Yeah, you know, cause before, when they see me, they'll just, oh yeah, yeah, I know him. But now they see me, they run because I've been trying to get at them and chase them for the last couple of days. But now I'm just, they're going to chill. They got their feeding right there every day. I can't believe all this grape in the back. Oh my goodness. Too bad I, I don't drink anymore. I make me some grape wine. Like it ain't no tomorrow. I'm just going, I never really drank. I drank in high school. But I used to get home my liquor, but... After my 30 day fast, I went to Jamaica and I have a half of something like four ounces. It was like an eight ounce thing of a drink in a bottle. It's very sweet. That stuff tore me up. Tore me up. I'm kind of glad though. It's, it's, I'm not supposed to drink anyway, so it's good. But I can't, so I'm going to, all my grape is going to be eaten and juiced. Eaten and juiced. Yeah, that's amazing. Amazing.